hands when the subject drops. Put your ass in a band, something like you, Boston. What's going on, dope shit gang? It's your boy Donna Bradley back at y'all another video, and today we are here with this man, CJ the Champ, and we know we already been to fuck something up. <laughs> I'm ready. I be looking forward to this shit. <laughs> I have no idea, but <clears throat> we got Nezuko is on Demon Time, the most disrespectful moments in anime history, part three. I am here for it. I'm already looking at this first thing popping up, and I watched this anime. I forget the name of it. But y'all see it when I've hit play, but like, oh my god. Oh my god. I wish it would have kept going. I know it stopped and it was like to and they, they went on with the manga, but this this anime was something different. So uh, we know he's gonna talk about some things. If you've been watching Demon Slayer like I have been. <laughs> Nezuko showed everybody something real quick. So let's just see what he got. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there, social media. Me here without any further ado. Three, two, one, click. So then he throws a punch, but bro ends up stopping his punch with a lunchbox. And straight up just cheap shots. Him. Sneak hey, niggas. Hey, 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 my boy, you shouldn't have done that shit. Yeah, my guy, I ain't even gonna lie. He, he should have not done that. So then <laughs> bro just started blasting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Boy hit that with the HR Gram 64 bomb. <laughs> Oh god, that's the anime I was talking about, but we'll talk about it more when we get to that part. You know what? Somebody linked that anime uh, in the description. One, I want to watch it again, and two, forever it stop, I just might pick that manga right, up because that shit was good. <laughs> it is finally time to return to a series that we have not been to in Jesus Christ four goddamn months. I know some of y'all niggas probably like, <laughs> he forgot about that shit. Didn't he? <clears throat> well, for your information, yeah. I don't know what this face was in Attack on Titan. No, like, it's probably like <laughs> he forgot about that. Sh didn't he? <clears throat> that bitch. Oh my god, I didn't know. I was like, I actually jumped. <laughs> like when it hit that, I said, Oh no, bitch. <laughs> no, none of that. <laughs> well, for your information, yeah. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. My boy, I forgot about that. Sh <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Yeah, that happened. <laughs> Hey, hey, but listen, listen, it's finally time to return to the most disrespectful moments in anime history. The series that we will observe some of the most outlandish, outrageous, mm. most brutal beatdowns in anime history. And just some moments that just make you look at the screen like, bro, oh, damn. Mm -hmm. They really had to do a nigga like that. But ladies and gentlemen, sit back and relax. Grab some popcorn. As I tell you about our sponsor today, Monster Legends. <laughs> Monster Legends is a free to play. Tell you, that was a good one. Go. All right, all right, all right. She's like an online. Oh, no, that was good. That was a good one. If you wanted to. Hey, but you got to you got to give it to the ones that can sneak it in. You feel me? First up to the plate is actually a moment that came out pretty recently. And that is Nezuko stomping out Doki. You can see Tanjiro fighting Doki right now. And he's about to cut the bitch head off. But bro ended up choking because the nigga forgot to breathe. So while he's Why you got to say it like that? Because a nigga forgot to breathe. He ain't forget. It's the form. You gotta do. He <laughs> made himself stupid. <laughs> oh shit! Cause the nigga forgot to breathe. <laughs> Chat off. But bro ended up choking because the nigga forgot to breathe. So while he's doing his greatest general grievous impression, trying to oh, get his wow. back. Oh wow. Nezuko comes from greatest. behind and kicks the dog shit out the bitch. Yeah. Damn. Made the whole world like a bowling ball. Woo. Look at her. She angry as hell, biting the hell out of that damn bamboo retainer, whatever the hell that is, with all that damn slobber coming out of damn mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you gotta love these descriptions, bro. <laughs> this nigga CJ different with his. But yeah, Nezuko, she 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 came. Whoo boy, she wasn't playing games. There were no games to be played. It was over. Damn bamboo retainer, whatever. <laughs> bamboo the hell retainer. It is, all that damn slobber coming out of damn mouth. Like bro, she kicked half of her head off. So they she start did, boxing, though. but Doc gives her the chop and just slings her like three houses down. She is crushed by this rubble, and she is still angry as sh. <laughs> so while that's, that was that was that was the thing about this fight, Nezuko was on straight demon time. There was no ah, this hurts her ah ah. It was like I'ma just get pissed and more pissed and more pissed, and I'm eventually about to start whooping your ass here. Like <laughs> Donkey's monologuing and talking shit. Nezuko gets up from that and regrows literally all of her limbs. So then she takes a whole bite out of the damn bamboo stick. And Jesus Christ, look at this absolute Grown ass mess. woman. Nigga, she got veins in her forehead. And look at Doki. She, she like, got veins. Oh, she on, um, what's that? Some of that Biaku guy. <laughs> it got pink Biaku guy. But yeah, nah, veins all up in the forehead. Turned to a grown ass woman on a bitch. Like, uh, mm hmm. She was like, mm hmm. Pick on somebody your own size. Let's get it. Oh. 
Docky said, like what the? F just <laughs> so then Draco <laughs> flitzes her ass. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Straight up stepped on her ass. <laughs> sound like a door creaking open. <laughs> and it sound like a door creaking open. That was good. Oh shit. <laughs> on her ass. Made them sound like a door creaking open. <laughs> Nigga, her whole foot is in her back. And look at oh. her staring at her like shit. I know your back ain't been blown out like this before, has it? <laughs> she lifts up her foot and straight up breaks her arm in half. And don't oh. know, she is smiling. She She's is smiling. enjoying Yo, it, she bro. She's a menace. She enjoying she it, bro. She's lifting <laughs> shit out of this. Fight back! Fight back! Oh, God, yeah, bro. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. CJ putting justice on the moment because Nezuko came in playing absolutely zero games. And the thing was, Daki, her day all bad. I'm going to say that. Her day all bad because, see, she was doing good with Tanjiro for a second. You know, all of a sudden, Tanjiro unlocked Demon Time. You know what I'm saying? So Daki over here like, all right, this, this ain't normal. Oh, this nigga. Oh, this nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then he ran out of breath. She over there like, oh, my Lord Jesus. <laughs> the fuck just happened? <laughs> And she like, all right, so we about to solve this problem right now. And then out of nowhere, <laughs> half your head over here. And she like, what the fuck? So I just strong motherfuckers just came out to play today. Like, <laughs> I've been on this earth how many years? Just whopping niggas and now all of a sudden. Like, <laughs> but, oh, shit. All right, let's go. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, play. Her head is bouncing off the ground. But then Daki loses, so she just slices up her entire body. Bro, her blood is literally holding her together right now. And, and yeah, she was on some Al sorry, she was on some straight up Alucard time, bro. Hell yeah, Helsing, she was on that tip, bro. I say yo. Well, I see now. I say yo. That shit was dope. Sorry, all right, I had to say it. That shit was crazy. Entire body. Bro, her blood is literally holding her together right now. And and then she just started burning her ass. So then she yeah, that blood demon shit. Her head jumps up to high oh, heaven yeah. and just straight plants her face into the ground. Like this girl, like she like demon Chun Li, bro. Like I don't, I don't know. Sorry, man, it's freaking soda. But yo, she is just demon Chun Li. This girl in kicks, bro. Ah, oh my god. <laughs> jumps up to high oh, heaven yeah. and just straight plants her face. Into the ground. So then she just starts stomping her out again, ass tooted up and everything. <laughs> bro, bro, at this point, this fight is over. Just let the bitch quit. For real. Nah, nigga, I ain't done yet. <laughs> like, I'm done. Knock it off. So then she gets her out, lines her up for the kick and just straight up boots the bitch. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh no, man. no, we didn't think he'd get even worse for Daki, right? Well, it did. So while Tanjiro's trying to calm Nezuko down, Daki's trying to get back up and trying to land a hit on her. Tengen comes in and stops the whole attack. <laughs> while he's talking to Tanjiro, Daki's like, ooh, a Hashira, you came to fight, nigga? And he's like, shut your ass up. I ain't got time for Disrespect. your weak ass. Disrespect. Disrespect. starts talking, and then her whole head just falls off. In just a split of a second, this man stopped her whole attack and straight up decapitated the bitch. All of her. So while she's complaining about why she's an upper six, and thinking like, uh. Yeah, Daki, she had a, she had a love, she had a mental, emotional breakdown moment. I didn't know, like, cause you know, she came out and she know she she was on demon. Doc, I me, Doc, even me, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, she came out and she just decided to have them some problems, like for real, for real, broke all down on everybody, started crying about, I'm strong and you're this and you're that. It was ridiculous. So why is your literal head in your fucking hands right now, you sorry ass bitch? And then she started crying. Hey, yo, this girl was talking all this shit like 10 minutes ago, and now she's crying her ass off. Hey, but you know what? Watching this ass whooping taught us all a lesson, though. Never judge a book by its cover, because that one quiet nigga in the class could have some hands and some black forces in his backpack. Facts. Disrespectful. Right, next up on the list. All right, what we got? One of the most classic beatdowns of all time, and that is the Tenjo Tenge Lunchroom Agni Kai. So while Masataka and Bob, oh yeah, Nagi comes in and he wants to smoke. I'm, see, I, I didn't know like, how many he was gonna do, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all don't this anime. Oh my God, when it comes to hands, woo boy, they bout it. They bout all of it, man. I love this anime. So I wish if it did keep going. I don't know. I haven't checked in a while. But like. 
<laughs> These niggas was about it. Let's go. And he's trying to run the hands with Masataka. And keep in mind, bruh, Nagi's only been at this school for two fucking days. And he already trying to run somebody's fate on the second day of school. So he throws a punch, but bro stops it with a chopstick. Then he gut checks homie and sends him flying. So everybody clears out the lunchroom because they're about to throw down. They're about to have a straight agony kai. So uh, Taki and Nagi's ready to humble his ass. He's like, bruh, it's only your second day and you're already starting shit. So then he says, all right, bruh, since you were first here, I'll give you a handicap. All you gotta do is land one hit. So Nagi runs mm -hmm. in and gets kicked in the temple. And then <laughs> bruh just started blasting on some Chun-Li type shit. <laughs> More Chun -Li shit. <laughs> just people with the kicks, man. I love the freaking avatar background music that he got in here. Now this shit is on point. Let's go. Let's go. Nagi runs in and gets kicked in the temple. And then bruh just started blasting on some Chun-Li type shit. Nigga hitting him with the helicopter kick. And just straight up teeing <laughs> off on bro. He hasn't even thrown a punch yet. If you're this far in the video and you're not subscribed, what the fuck? <laughs> Look at Bob, bro. He like, damn. My nigga getting his ass kicked. So then somehow Soichiro gets up from that shit. So bro comes in flying with another kick. But then we bro hit. ducks under it on some Steve Fox type shit. <laughs> he throws a punch, but he grabs the punch midair and hits a whole skin of Rooney on that neck. This nigga did a breakdance move off his fist. A whole breakdance. That, that nigga, what's that shit? What's that shit, man? I can't remember what the hell name of it is, bro. But that whole shit, bro. That's a ho look. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> and he throws a punch, but he grabs the uh, punch midair. All of that. All of that. On that. That's just a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. Bro, it's it's a wrap. But then no girl. Nigga, do a break dance move and kick you in your shit. Stop fighting. Even if it feel like you can, stop fighting. That's the end of it. You cannot handle anything this person's about to hit you with because. You got smacked in the face with a foot after a breakdance move. How did you not see it coming? But, but because you did it, you should now no longer warrant this situation. But all right, we move. We move. Midair, it gets a whole skin of Rooney on that nigga. And bro is out cold. It's over. But then no girl wakes him up and she's like, nigga, you really gonna get your ass whooped in front of all these niggas? You sorry as hell with that fake ass Super Saiyan cut you got going on, my boy. Oh! Nagi, it, it's, it's like Super Saiyan right slash now. Wolverine. This man is ready to beat this nigga to a pulp. Nigga, like, this is the first day I wanted to whoop his ass so bad. So then he throws <laughs> a punch, but bro ends up stopping his punch with a lunchbox and straight up just cheap shots him. But everybody like, hey, 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 my boy, you shouldn't have done that mm. shit. Yeah, yeah, my nigga, I ain't even gonna lie. He, he should have not done that shit. So then, and bro, hey, just oh, oh, blast it. Jesus Christ. Boy, hit that nigga. All them fancy kicks was gone. Where the feet go? Where does feet go? It was gone. It was, no, he was doing the fancy stuff before. He said, fuck it. <laughs> he said, that's it. It's a wrap. There ain't no need to present for nobody. I'ma just run your shit. Into this wall. Like, you see how fancy it was before? What was the fancy? What happened? Like, it was, <laughs> and I turned around and said, Nope, demon. Uh, nope, this it. It's a rap for you. So then, bro just started blasting. Jesus Christ. Boy, hit that nigga with the HR Gram 64 ball. They <laughs> trying to get him off, but he like, Got the way, nigga. Yo, dog literally dug his own grave. So then. Picks up his lifeless body and gut shakes. Oh my god, bro. That nigga's breakfast is gone. Just look at this. Bro didn't awaken the demon. So he goes a kill shot and it's over. The, the screen just cuts the black. That, that, that nigga bro. is dead. That nigga is sitting on dead. top of his roof and looking at him. He like, damn. I really got my ass whooped on the second day of school. That was interesting. One of the things I did like about this anime is that the main character, this dude, he that's not the first time he gets his ass whooped or the last time. Well, I don't know if that's the first one. I don't know, but he his ass, he get, he catch a lot of ass whooping throughout this anime. I'll tell you that right now. He be trying to run phase and he just is not ready for. But it's it's a it's a good watch, man. It's a definitely a good watch. This roof and look at him, he like damn. I really got my ass whooped on the second day of school. And the thing is, he picked the fight and it was in front of his girl too? Hey, yo, bro. Nah, bro, that's it. That's disrespectful as shit. <laughs> disrespectful. All right, next up on the list All right, who we got is next? Adam smoking Ricky's pack. So Ricky challenges Adam, who is basically a love child between Dio and Hisoka. All right, so I don't know, I don't know this anime, but I'm, I feel like I might get some some new now. I might go watch this one after he explained it. <laughs> kid looked up to Tony Hawk, and this man does one of the most absolutely disrespectful things you could ever do to anybody. So the race starts, so Ricky takes off, but Adam is still standing there. And then this nigga pulls out a whole pack of black and moths and starts smoking that shit. <laughs> Ain't no 
fucking wait, dog. This nigga just straight monologues for about two minutes, talking about how good his black and miles are. So after he's done with his smoke break, so he's like, it don't even matter. Gordon and just starts Naruto running. Nigga went from zero to sixty in a second, and he is gone. And within five seconds, he's already on his ass. He's like, what up, little nigga? <laughs> I hope you like the two minute head start I gave your ass. And this nigga still got the black and mild in his hand, bruh. <laughs> What's with the kids with the cow face? <laughs> All right, let's go. And this nigga still got the black and mild in his hand, bruh. To him and just starts dancing on the skateboard. Like, nigga, what the f is happening right now? He different. He pushes him down and just holds him an inch away from the ground. And look at him, he like, don't close your eyes, little nigga. You should save for this shit. <laughs> Ricky passes him and does a nice ass little grind. So Adam, like, hmm, okay, I'll f with you, my boy. So he throws down the cigarette and hits this nasty ass. Just ass show ass me ass your boots. God damn, my boy. Then this nigga does this pose and hits this called the love hug and he is skating uphill. This nigga said, F the laws of physics, my boy. So then Ricky just went flying. Bro just ended up rolling down the whole hill about like 50 yards. Like, Jesus Christ. It's like, what's this like? Toby Hawk interdimensional anime? Like, what happened? What happened here? What's, what's going on? Like, he doing dude dirty. He doing dude dirty like. I, look, somebody give you a head start like that and start monologuing and have a cigarette and then just kind of. Boosties on your ass, like, just stop, just stop. They don't have like it's like why I keep going. You feel me? Like obviously, obviously you just learned something. You just learned something, and now you're not gonna take what you learn and apply it to to your life. You know you're gonna end up on the ground like that. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Back on skate three, that is a fat ass going haul of meat. Hey, but no, 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 no. This man wasn't even done yet, bro. Because while I'm talking about this anime, I gotta add one more thing that he did. So they're having this tournament, and Adam is racing Cherry right now. And Cherry is actually beating him right now because I ain't even gonna lie, bro. His board is like actual cheats. So then <laughs> Adam pulls in front of him, and Show then this nigga moves. just starts tap dancing on his damn board. So then Cherry says, Don't get too cocky, nigga. But Adam's like, Nah. Don't be too optimistic, motherfucker. So then he gets oh, off his board, runs up at him, and slaps the nigga with the board. Oh! Got in my face with that cheating ass board, nigga. Shit. It is ass so hard to replay three different. Damn, hold up. <laughs> I didn't know it got down like that. From the first race, it was like, okay, it's just they skateboarding and stuff, but that nigga iced him. Bro! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> like, is that for real? Like, I know he said his board was like cheating. I didn't know if he meant like it was too good, but like if it was actual cheating, like that nigga smacked the fuck out this man, bro. Deal. Motherfucker. So then he gets off his board, runs up at him, and the nigga with the board. Oh my he god. Out of my face with that cheating ass board, nigga. Hit his ass so hard to replay three different times. And then mm. when he's on the ground, he starts talking shit to him, and he says, "Yeah, the reason I never responded to your beefs is because, yeah, nigga, you born as shit." Uh. Bro, pack it up, bro. This man is a menace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to our final moment. So I decided I might as well save this one for last. Got to make it quick, though, before these niggas get on my ass. And that is me <laughs> pulling a butter knife on Zoro. So we all know Zoro's dream. He I don't know. Okay, one piece. Of all time. But to do that, he's going to have to get past this nigga. Oh, okay. No, I've seen this, though. I've seen this, though. <laughs> he did doing this, that little fucking <laughs> that little cross knife. That was disrespectful. I mean, look how bro pulled up looking like a dripped out vampire slayer. And he look for real at did, though. pitiful, weak one. Nigga, you weak as hell and you sorry as hell. But you know what? I'll give you a handicap. I'll pull out a fucking butter knife. <laughs> And look at dude, I'm no beast that goes all out when hunting a rabbit. So unfortunately, this is the smallest shit I got. Pfft. Yo, pack it up, my nigga. Like, dog, back in the day during East Blue, this was the craziest shit. This man got three stores and it got stopped by a butter knife. Zoro's like, what the f Oh, nigga, I'm out of my league. Yeah, that's my shit. It's like, you done, you done, like, it's like, when it happened, it's like, you there, you in it now. You done fucked up. You swung three swords and it stopped with a butter knife. You know, at that point... Since you thought that was the first, since that was the first impossible shit that's ever happened to you. <laughs> How, what are you gonna do? You gonna swing your sword some more? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> all right, okay, all right. It's always in it got stopped by a butter knife. Zoro's like, what the f Oh, nigga, I'm out of my league. And just look at him, prairie, 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 y'all fucking dead. So then Zoro jumps up, but then he just gets stabbed. 
Uh, with a with butter, a knife. butter knife in his <laughs> sit through shock waves. So then he like state your name, nigga. Rep your set. As courtesy of surviving so long, I'll actually pull out my real sword. So then we have our stereotypical enemy sword clash. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, but we knew Zora was taking that L. Yeah. Even with do bro. Hey, but even though this is disrespectful as shit, he honorable our boy who he is today. Cause yeah, he honorable though. It was a, it was a, it was an honorable thing. It was good. It was a good one. It was a good one. This man, no doubt, a menace. Well, yeah, that was the most disrespectful moments in anime history three. And I mean, hell, since we bringing it back, I might as well just do one of these once every month with all the other videos. So we'll try to make this series a little consistent. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, make sure y'all go subscribe to the second channel. We almost had 100K on that. Bitch. And also follow your boys IG and Twitter. And also make sure to go uh, check out Monster Legends. The link is in the description below. And thank Monster you, Monster Legends. Yo, that was dope. We watched dope shit here. Oh my god. Yo, I was with my boy. On all of that, but that Nezuko shit and I, I can't, still can't remember the name of it. The fight one, but bro, those, those go beat Doki ass, bro. Oh my god, into the dirt, bro, into the dirt. Had her confused about who she was in life. Like it was, it was, a, it was a thing. It was a thing, but yeah, nah. That dude, like nigga, in that anime, dudes get wrecked. Dudes get wrecked. The little fake Super Saiyan dude, psh, he ain't the only one. Let me tell you, he ain't the only one. Everybody get it, dog. Everybody get it. But nah, CJ definitely put it in a glorious fashion for everyone to understand clearly how this shit represent the disrespectful portion of the anime. You know what I'm saying? But this was dope. That's the take on it. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all that this social media. And I'll catch y'all next one, man. Peace.